Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. In today's video, I am going to be doing a quick setup of my sort of currently page for the month of May. And that's just because one of you guys got in touch with me and asked me to film it. Now, this is April's and I do actually fill them in, but I don't usually film them. Um, it's just something that I normally try and do um, off camera. But for this month, I am going to go ahead and film it for you guys, just so you can see how I normally plan this sort of thing out. So if you watched my last video, if not, I'll link it below. I set up my monthly spread and the leftover stickers, I just spread them out onto here. And then that's as far as I've got so far, but I am going to go ahead and plot in everything else that I need to remember for the month of May. <clears throat> so first I'm going to do is just grab, I might grab the date sticker book, um, because I think that's the one we're going to need first, which is here. And this one I actually use like a go-to for every month and yeah so i'm going to be using these ones at the bottom rather than numbered stickers all the time so i'm just going to go ahead and put this here i'll do and go ahead and have a little heart there and a star uh, we'll go for there and we'll see if we have any room left for another one at the bottom and then also I'm not sure if it's this one I'm gonna grab my bump one of the bumper sticker books and this one is also a really good go-to one it just has a bit of everything in it and I'm gonna grab the app some birthday stickers and I'm going to go for this one and I'm going to stick it just there like that okay so that is that bit done and then all I'm going to do is fill in and pull this out actually so I can do like that. So we're just going to go ahead and fill in all the bits to go on this page. So for birthdays, I have the 16th of May, and that is my friend's birthday. And then I also have a niece's birthday in May as well um and then also have new baby niece which is due any day now and i'll probably just write the date there but it will definitely be may so i'll just leave it like that and then unexpected spends it can be something like um, a bill that was more than I planned or it could be something that I don't usually spend money on um, so I think was it April let's just check yeah April I ended up going for a hospital visit which I never normally go to a hospital really so I dropped it in unexpected spends and so far I've had two gifts from work one of them is around the 12th and the other was the 30th and gift for both and they've both just been five pound and that's just because we've had two people leave at work and they weren't just sort of regular people, it's people who I actually know very well. Um, and I didn't want to just 
put a pound or something so I did put a little bit more um because I was going to get them a gift myself and actually it worked out cheaper just to give a little bit more money um <clears throat> so that's what I ended up doing for that and then for my goals here I'm going to say uh minimum 200 towards death and that should be doable because a hundred pounds already gone towards debt and then the rest is just what I save um no spend days I want to try for more so I'm gonna try 19 no spend days so there's my no spend days in which I always get something for that um that's my debt I want to see if I can reach my drive saving goal because we are really close and I think this could be it so it's 1050 for that and then is there anything else for my I don't think there is then here is just normally where I jot anything else down for that month that's up and coming to think about. Um, so I do have to think that in June I've got um, a birthday, lots and lots of birthdays, 13th, 19th, 27th birthdays and it's my sisters, my nans and my aunties. So there is a lot of birthdays to think about this month. Um, just sort of making sure I've got enough saved to cover those birthdays, really. Um, <clears throat> but we we'll, shall see. And then that is all I really do for my month today. If anything else comes up, then I'll just add it in. Um, just because I like to keep track of things there a little bit more. Um... I think there was a slight difference as well in my HP because I upgraded to the next level but it didn't quite kick in until after my last payment so there was just a slight crossover um, but it has gone up now to a new payment so that should be done um, and then the only thing I need to think about is anything else to drop into here which sometimes I don't put anything in in fact most times I don't really fit anything in there um, but this time around I'm going to start using this space a little bit more um, just for scribbling notes in and things like that um, so I think that is it for this little tiny video I hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful um, maybe it will give you some tips on how to use your space um, you could use this for anything. There has been times where I've whited this out um, and put a sticker on it and tracked something completely different. Um, but this is literally just for budgeting. So whatever I do track here is normally some sort of expense, whether it's anniversary, Valentine's, Christmas, birthday, anything like that. That's where I track it. Um, just as like a quick catch for that month. So that's just how I've always done it and then here I always track um, small goals for the month that I know are achievable um, never ones that are not achievable I want to know that these things will happen in May um, my bigger goals I plan on a separate sheet and I just keep them at the front here um, because there is no like set date goal for them it could be that these take a lot longer than others than planned um but whatever these are need to be achievable you need to make sure that even if it's just 10 no spend days or five it needs to be achievable so that at the end you can say well i achieved every single one of those and may was a good month um ready for moving into june um so yeah i hope you found this video useful if you did give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um just so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos and i will speak to you all again soon bye